Elvis Presley was one of the most famous and influential musicians of the 20th century, but his career was not without challenges and controversies. One of the most notorious aspects of his life was his relationship with his manager, Colonel Tom Parker, who was a mysterious and manipulative figure that controlled many aspects of Elvis' career and personal life. Colonel Parker was not really a colonel, nor was he an American citizen. His real name was Andreas Cornelis van Kuyk, and he was a Dutch immigrant who fled to the United States in 1929 and assumed a false identity. He had a shady past that involved working in circuses, gambling, and possibly even murder. He became Elvis' manager in 1955 and helped him achieve unprecedented fame and success, but also exploited him for his own financial gain. Colonel Parker made many decisions for Elvis that were not always in his best interest, such as signing him to long-term contracts with RCA Records and Paramount Pictures that limited his artistic freedom and paid him less than he deserved. He also prevented Elvis from touring overseas or performing at prestigious events like the Woodstock Festival because he feared that his illegal status would be exposed if he left the country or applied for a passport. He also took a huge percentage of Elvis' earnings, ranging from 25% to 50%, and sometimes even more. Elvis was not aware of Carl Parker's true background or his shady dealings until much later in his life. He trusted him as his manager and mentor, and often followed his advice without question. However, as Elvis' career declined in the late 1960s and early 1970s, he became more frustrated and unhappy with Colonel Parker's control over him. He felt that he was being overworked, underpaid, and creatively stifled by the Colonel's demands. In 1974, Elvis had a major confrontation with Colonel Parker backstage in Las Vegas after he visited the home of a hotel employee whose wife was dying of cancer. The hotel owner, Baron Hilton, fired the employee for violating the contract that forbade any contact between the staff and Elvis. Elvis was outraged by this injustice and blamed Colonel Parker for agreeing to such a contract. He told him that he wanted to fire him as his manager and hire someone else who would treat him better. Colonel Parker was shocked and angry by Elvis' outburst. He knew that he had a lot of leverage over Elvis because he had signed him to various contracts that were hard to break or renegotiate. He also knew that Elvis owed him a lot of money for his services over the years. He decided to use these facts to his advantage and make Elvis reconsider his decision. He presented Elvis with a detailed invoice that listed all the expenses that he had incurred on behalf of Elvis since 1955. The total amount came to over $2 million, equivalent to about $11 million today, which was more than Elvis could afford to pay at the time. Elvis was stunned by the invoice and realized that he was trapped in a financial bind with Colonel Parker. He had no choice but to back down from his threat and resume their collaboration. However, he also lost a lot of respect and trust for Colonel Parker after this incident. He felt that he had been betrayed and cheated by someone who claimed to be his friend and protector. The relationship between Elvis and Colonel Parker never recovered from this dispute. They continued to work together until Elvis' death in 1977, but they were more distant and hostile toward each other. Elvis often ignored or defied Colonel Parker's suggestions and orders, while Colonel Parker continued to exploit Elvis' fame and popularity for his own benefit. The story of Elvis Presley firing Cole Parker is a tragic tale of how a talented artist was manipulated and exploited by a greedy and unscrupulous manager who cared more about money than music. It is also a cautionary tale of how fame and fortune can come at a high price for those who are not careful about who they trust and what they sign.